Today we'll be graphing the function f of x equals the negative of negative x minus 6 squared minus 2. We'll start by looking at the parent function, which is f of x equals x squared. Notice that the vertex is at the point 0, 0. Now in our original function we want x to be by itself, so we're going to rewrite our equation as f of x equals the negative of negative times x plus 6 all squared minus 2. Now we'll start looking at reflecting our parent function. When we square a negative x, that reflects it across the y-axis, but this is already symmetric across the y-axis, so that doesn't change it. Now the negative outside of the square tells us to reflect it across the x-axis. Now we finish the reflections, we'll move on to the translations. Since we are adding 6 to x, this moves our function 6 spaces to the left. And now our vertex is at the point negative 6, 0. Now on to our vertical translation. Because we are subtracting 2 on the outside, this shifts our function down 2 spaces. Our vertex is at the point negative 6, negative 2, and this is the graph of our function.